Cowboy Special here, and we have the answers that you want to know about which round performs best out of an AR-15 pistol with a 7.5 inch barrel. Coming right up. So why is this information important? Because if you own or thinking about owning a PDW or SBR with a seven and a half inch barrel, this information could protect you and or a family member because you have to know what does and does not perform. Done a lot of testing and recorded all the data. Put it in this spreadsheet here. This is one of many pages this one right here is exclusive to the seven and a half inch barrel. Now all that information you can have if you go to our website, thenothingbox.tv, you can download it for free. All right, I'd like to give you the best performer on this spreadsheet from all the categories. Those categories being foot-pounds of energy, the grain or the weight of the bullet, the velocity, the barrel length obviously seven and a half inches, the penetration in inches in gel, and whether or not the bullet performed, which is either fragmentation or expansion. The first category is foot-pounds of energy. What is foot-pounds of energy? It's the amount of energy that the round exerts on the target, or the amount that it punches, it, or the smackability of that round. And the winner in that category is the Barnes TSX 70 grain really came in hot and heavy with 812 foot-pounds of energy. That's quite a lot for this little bitty round. The next category is the grain or the weight of the bullet. The highest one that we had was from DRT at 79 grains. That's a pretty heavy bullet for this round. The next category is velocity. Which round went the fastest? And according to this, it was the Remington UMC Jacketed Hollow Point. It came in at 2,377 feet per second. That's zinging for this little round. Which one had the greatest penetration? Well, according to this, the Remington 223 TSX Hog Hammer. And it got 24.2 inches of penetration through ballistic gel. That's a long way. Now you know why they call it the hog hammer. And in the last category is our bullet damage type, or did it perform as advertised? The one that we had that performed the greatest was the Federal MK318 OTMRP, which means Open Tip Match Rear Penetrator. This expanded to 0.461 inches. That's pretty big for a small 223 round. The other one was from our varmint grenade, which the fragmentation in that was about four and a half inches in the wound channel. So the fragmentation just exploded, and now you know why they call it the varmint grenade. All right, this next category is just a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna try and explain it the best I know how. What I did is I looked through every single round and its performance. And I looked at the top five performers in each category to see if there was one or more round that was consistently being named straight across the board. And let me give you that list of top performers. Straight across the board, number one was the Hornady Tap GMX and 5.56 and that came in at 55 grain. Number two was the Winchester Ranger Soft Point in a 64 grain. Number three was the Federal MK318 in a 62 grain as well. And the fourth one was the Federal MK262 in the 77 grain. So as you can see by this list here that the top performers were actually the heavier rounds. So I've given you all this information. Which one do I prefer? Let me tell you. For the price, I love the Remington because it performs exactly as advertised and went way beyond my expectation in performance. Now, if money was no option and I could 
afford the most expensive rounds possible, then I would go with the DRT. These are the best money can buy. For law enforcement or military, or if you home defense, I love the Federal MK318. This performed way better than I expected. Now, military and law enforcement have always been using the Hornady Tap. Hornady is a great, reputable name, and they have a great product, and it performs just like their reputation. And the last one that I would recommend would be the Winchester Ranger. You've seen the Rangers in other calibers for pistols, but out of this little pistol, AR-15 pistol, this Ranger soft point really mushroomed out, really performed, and had great penetration. And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. This really means a lot to us because there's a lot of good and important information that we do not want you to miss and we really want you to be a part of. We love the interaction between our viewers. So we've given you all this information about what has performed well and my personal preferences, but we really want to hear what are your personal preferences and what are your experiences with these. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below. Hey, don't forget to check out our website. The link is down here below. Man, it's chocked full of great information. Free downloadable data charts like I've presented, free FBI reports on ballistics and all sorts of good links and products and everything that you can imagine and think of. And you saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel.